St. Patrick's Day episode. What are we doing here? So last episode, you guys tuned in. Matcha, I guess, is good for you or something. We're going to try it out. Let's see what's going on here. Apparently it counteracts beer or something. I heard it makes you drunker, actually. <laughs> Damn it. That's nasty, dude. <sighs> this one's for you, Alexandra. It's like a cream, dude. I like it creamy. <sighs> That's fucking gross, dude. Like, no shit. This is fucking nasty. There was a chunk that wasn't mixed. <sighs> doing it for you guys i don't even want to do this shit ah oh, fuck dude I'm like chewing it i have to like chew it down never had to chew a beer before <sighs> happy saint patrick's day Rusty razor, shave her belly with a rusty razor, shave her belly with a rusty razor, early in the morning. Hey. Way up she rises, way, way up she rises, way, way up she rises, early in the morning. Put her in the break until she's sober, put her in the break until she's sober, put her in the break until she's sober, early in the morning. She rises way, way hey, up, she rises way, way hey, up, she rises early in the morning. Let me just fucking handle something real quick before we start this. Like, turn that shit off, though. Seriously, turn it off. Is it off? Welcome to this episode, St. Patrick's Day special. I had a lot of fucking questions about St. Patrick. I don't know shit about it. I'm like, you guys, you don't know shit either. What the fuck is St. Patrick's Day? Why do we celebrate it? Why is it synonymous with getting fucking blacked out drunk? Like what saint gets wasted? Like how is that a thing? This is what we're going to cover today's episode and we're going to play some fucking drinking games and we're going to see what happens when you drink green beer. St. Patrick's Day. First off, the guy wasn't even Irish. He was fucking British. Born to a wealthy family in England <laughs> in the late 4th century, which is just after the 3rd century. His fucking dad was a deacon in the Catholic Church. Highly speculated that it was done for fucking tax purposes. Evasion of taxes, dude. Fuck that piece of shit, dude. St. Patrick ended up in Ireland because the guy was fucking kidnapped by a bunch of Irish raiders. Those goddamn rascals, those Irish people are fucking rascally people, man. I love them, though. Great people. They fucking got this guy. They took him as a slave, basically, and were like, you're going to work your ass off in these fields. And the guy was just out in the field all day long. This is where he found his religion. This guy, basically, at one point, he escapes. Fucking goes back to Britain or UK, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, and then he comes back right away to be a missionary. He did what every good missionary does put the fear of God into people. He's like, these fucking land-loving, earth-worshipping hippies aren't scared of shit. Well, let me scare you right now with God. He started having visions and dreams, and he wanted to convert the Irish people to fucking Christianity. And the guy, the reason he became so beloved was because he didn't want to erase traditions, like totally. Like fucking Irish people used to use, or I guess the Celtic, Celtic? Celtic. Celtic. Celtic people used to use fire to honor the gods. And St. Patrick's was like, we can also use that for Easter. We'll honor God with a big, huge fire. And he's like, oh, right, rad. 
And the fucking Celtic people were like, oh, awesome. We can do that. He also, powerful Irish symbol was the sun, the sun disc. He added it to the cross, which now we have the Celtic. Was it Celtic, Celtic? Celtic cross. He added the sun disc to the cross. And now we have the Celtic cross. So St. Patrick was actually never canonized. The Catholic Church never recognized him as a saint. They basically just love the guy so much, they call him a saint. And even we call him a saint, St. Patrick's. And my other fucking question is like, what's up with green? Why everything green? Like I get it, it's an Irish thing. Grant, it's a, it's a land of green, it's a green place, very green. The reason they use green is because leprechauns are running around and you can't see these little fuckers. I don't know where they're at. They're creeping, dude. They're like little fucking pixies or, yeah, yeah, they're like, they are. They're like little fucking magical creatures, right? Leprechauns can't see green. So you wear green and it makes you invisible to them, which if they can see you, they want to pinch you. I guess they just like pinch people. <laughs> pinch. My buddy back here had a very valid question. How the fuck do they do laundry then? Like, like what are they doing? They're just like, just literally dipping their hands in water. And say, oh, I know there's a shirt here. I can't fucking see it, but I know it's there. Like, what the fuck? Like, you're right. You're right. You're totally right. I don't know shit about that, dude. Like fucking... I guess leprechauns can't see green. That's why we wear the green everywhere. Like wear it on St. Patrick's Day or you're going to get a pinch for that fucking reason. That fucking green beer is hurting my gut, dude. And like, I got an iron gut. And usually nothing can like take it down. I eat shit off the floor. I'm like a pigeon, bro. Like I see them eating food on the floor all the time. And You got any more of that green beer? <laughs> March 17th. Why March 17th? This is actually the day he died. This is a, uh, what is it called? Anniversary of his death. Where, again, where does this whole drinking thing come from? Basically, they, the Catholic Church was like, it's cool. We can suspend lentis food and drinking. You guys are allowed to eat the stuff that we don't usually eat, and you're allowed to drink on this day. So people were just like, hell yeah, dude, let's get fucked up. No. <laughs> I was going to slam it. I <laughs> forgot that that's two beers right yeah, there, yeah. dude. <laughs> 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 so this is the reason people are running around just getting wasted. Like on Christmas, it's not a drinking holiday. People aren't all like, this is the day, you know, we get wasted on this day. No, what the hell? Easter, we get wasted. No, we don't get wasted on Easter. St. Patrick's Day, we get wasted on that day because we're allowed to. Even the church are like, it's cool, guys. Go ahead. We're going to suspend it just for this day. So people just get nuts with it. And, you know, they take it. Did you see that leprechaun? That thing is after me, dude. It was fucking right on my shit. You saw that, right? We're going to ask a couple people what they know about St. Patrick's Day. I guarantee you, they don't know shit. Well, he is a saint, a Catholic saint. He's Irish. Uh, you know, a lot of green, corned beef. Why green? Uh, it's the Lord's color. <laughs> I don't like this. I need a drink. <laughs> it smells like, <laughs> smell, <laughs> smells like dog in here. <laughs> Just like I don't know shit about Cinco de Mayo. What the fuck is it? Like, what, what is it? Like, what are, we, what are we doing? Why do we get drunk on these foreign holidays in America? You know what I mean? Like only Cinco de Mayo and St. Patrick's Day, we get wasted. But the American ones, you behave yourself. Thanksgiving, <laughs> you don't get wasted with Thanksgiving either. You know what I mean? Like behave yourself. Eat, be merry, but you're not getting lit. Foreign ones, get lit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking leprechaun running around here. The first thing my mind goes to is, if they can't see green, ghillie suit. Green ghillie suit, and I'm gonna fucking kill one. Dude, no, there's no way. You are over the rainbow, you look over there. You don't, you don't know what you see until you see it.
we're gonna play some drinking games we're gonna fucking hang out drink irish people have these great traditions of singing songs and playing games and we got a couple coming up for you you guys gonna like this we're playing some irish drinking games this one's called the two euro spin we don't have a euro but we're gonna use this ring we spin it and we gotta chug beers while it's spinning and once it settles whoever drank less beer loses and you gotta drink a beer first challenger shame us here we go shame. using this ring jacket looks stupid <laughs> you're lucky i'm not gonna fight you because wearing the same shoes shit, shit. <clears throat> <laughs> damn it you didn't fall for it all right here we go You're a victor. I can taste the green. It's not a joke. It's not a joke, dude. Like, I really think my shit's gonna pop. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you, bro. You lost. I'm a big dumb idiot. Nice, brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. In this corner, Evander Holyfield. To the right of me, Don Richter. Let's get ready to rumble. He won. It's over. It's fucking done. You, I guess you just gotta drink that. Right? That's it. Shake hands. Oh! I want water. Water. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm in a severe amount of pain. Oh, dude. All right. I don't even want to look. Oh, he's got to throw up. First name L. Yeah. Second name T. Tigre. Up against Chris. Saga, you ready? You ready? Go clean fight, shake hands. Bah! Beach. It's on. El tigre. That's all from <laughs> 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 Alright guys, this has been fucking awesome. Had tons of fun. A lot of good boys hanging out. Here we are. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> this is how I fucking always practice safe sex. When I'm fisting a woman, I always wear a condom. Oh my god. Ah, I knew it! I fucking knew it was gonna happen, dude! <laughs> I was doing that! I was doing that!